hi how are you um today i'm gonna do a video basically about how to layer creams in your makeup without disrupting what you've done underneath and i'm gonna do a nice little gray smoky to go with it so i'm gonna start with a bit of cc cream um, and then i'll go back to my eyes now usually to be honest with you i would just if i was doing a really smoky look i would do my eyes first um but i just don't want my skin to distract me and i've just put my skincare on and i still want a little bit of um tackiness from the skincare to help me buff in this cc cream to give a really nice soft finish now something i meant to say um, that I had a question about the other day someone mentioned sunscreen and said could you do a makeup that's designed to sit over sunscreen. Now, one thing that I never do in my videos is wear my sunscreen. And the only reason for that is I've already put it on by the time I come to do my videos with you. So please don't think for one minute that that's me not wearing it or anything like that. I've already put it on before. Um, I wear sunscreen every single day. Now, say for example, this CC cream has got an SPF 50 in it. That's brilliant as an additional measure, um, you know, absolutely fab to have in your complexion product. But I always use a separate one. I've just brought them down to show you. So at the moment, I'm using the SkinCeuticals Advanced Brightening UV Defence Sunscreen. That's so thin and lightweight. So if you do want something that isn't going to disrupt your makeup, I'd really recommend it. I also love the La Roche-Posay and Velios. And then on my body, I've just started another bottle of the Zellens Body Defence. It's an oil. Um, it feels so lovely and it leaves your skin looking quite glowy and healthy. Um, but I really find with that Zellens oil, because it's that oily rich texture, um, I feel like it's easier to tell when you want to top it up. And it's more obvious on your skin. So you remind yourself more often, oh, do you know what? I'm going to put a bit more on my neck or whatever you need. Um, but th the reason being, I'm just going to take a little bit of this over my eyes, very little. You know, with an SPF in your foundation, I'm going to put more coverage on my cheeks, for example, and barely any around here. Um, whereas with a separate SPF, you put your full hearty dose everywhere and you were really even about it rather than just, oh, I'm only going to buff a tiny bit on there. That isn't going to be as strong sunscreen as a dedicated separate sunscreen. So just in case you were wondering, I always, always use my sunscreen. Now, um, I'm not going to do too heavy of an eye. I was wondering whether to use an eye primer, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to put a little bit of setting powder over that CC that I've put on the eyes. I'd always recommend just powdering or using a primer um, to keep your eyeshadow in place. But I only want really a little soft wash because I'm using some shimmers. And I'm going to take, first of all, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Rock Chick palette. I just looked at it today and thought I haven't worn that in ages and it's a really lovely palette. Now, before I do that, in fact, I know I'm really jumping from one thing to another today. I'm just going to grab my eyeliner and do that first so that I don't disrupt um, my eyeshadows. And I'm going in with a black today. I was having a little look at my last few videos and I know, I mean, I love anything kind of bronze or golden those kind of browny tones. So I thought, you know what? Just to mix things up today, I'm gonna do something quite cool and dark and gray. Now, that's a little bit messy because I'm trying to hold the mirror in the one hand. The liner I've used there is the Pixie liner. And I love the Pixie liners. I've got this all over my hands because they're really creamy. Now, I was having this discussion with someone last week, actually. Some people hate a creamy liner because they want something nice and firm that's not going to move. Now, this creamy one, it because it's so creamy, you can kind of buff it out and blend it like I'm doing here. 
and that's great but if you'd prefer not to have that kind of thing some kind of gap here that i don't understand um you might prefer for example like a mac pencil they have lots of different textures but some of them are really stubborn um and then you can get that kind of absolutely locked in finish okay so i'm going to take this light gray in fact i'm going to take the lightest gray that's not coming up very gray on there but it's nice and gray in the palette i'm going to take this all over the lids now this gray is inspired by a little lady on Grey's Anatomy the other day. There was this elderly lady. I've just started watching it. I'm nearly at the end of series two. It's just the best thing ever. There was an elderly lady and she was saying that she didn't want to go into a home because she didn't want to become old because she felt really young at heart. And she was really glam and she had a full makeup on and a set of lashes and all of this. And I said to my mom, God, her makeup looks amazing. And we both said we'd been looking at it, but it was all greys that she had on. So, you know what? Let's give the greys a go. Um, one of the main reasons I was really excited about Grey's Anatomy was there are um 15 series on Amazon Prime. That is 15 series worth. I'm going in with the slightly deeper grey. 15 series worth of not having to choose what I'm watching each night. Because that's the biggest dilemma of them all. I find that I'm so busy choosing what to watch that enough time has gone past that I just think, do you know what, forget it. I'm sick of it now. So yeah, cannot recommend enough. Absolutely loving it. Now, going nice and smudgy under there. And then I'm going to take some of that around this corner. This is on a nice, densely shaped brush. And then I'm going to take a clean brush to buff that out a little bit. Well, let me build my shape first. This is a shimmer again. Now this brush actually retracts. So I'm going to buff the excess off. And then just start to pull that through the socket. I'm going to build a bit more product on that brush. Take that right the way through. Gently kick it out at the end. Now I am going in with the lightest touch for this. Super, super light. That is quite a large <laughs> eye shape. I'm sure when I have a play with this, it's going to work out fine. I am looking at the time thinking, am I going to get to your building of creams Donna let's just see how we go on this because I seem to have found myself on another tangent altogether I reckon I'll be able to actually right we've buffed this out it's very large but you know what I haven't done anything like this in a while so why not very very large I'm gonna deepen that again go in with that matte shade and I'm going to take that in these little corners, just gently going into that lash line. How much time have I got? I've got six minutes. I think with your makeup, right, especially if you're in a rush, your makeup will smell the fear. So if I just keep this nice and calm, I've got plenty of time. We're going to be fine. We're going to get our creams on for Donna. Or we'll be all right in the end. Not quite even. Flick that round a tiny bit. And again, I'm going to go with the excess. Soften that out. And then there's a little pressed glitter in this palette. So I'm going to put a little touch of that 
um, over the lid colour using my ring finger. And as you can see, I'm actually so chuffed I found this mirror. I've been thinking about it all week. I thought it was in my flat and I was thinking, gosh, I used to love having it on my um, table just for small details. And I realised I'd brought it back with me. So all was really nice. That's a bit bigger than a mirror you would have in your makeup palette. And you can just really see what you're doing. Lovely, that'll do me. Um, I think I could do with a bit of eyeliner, but we'll skim over that because we're running short on time. I'm going to take my same foundation brush and just tidy that up a little. I'm going to take this. This is a new Rimmel Mascara I'm just about to use, Scandalize Reloaded. So let's see how that goes. Nice big brush. And then creams wise on my complexion, I think the key to building them without disrupting what's underneath is to use a really, really soft touch. So for my bronzer, I'm actually gonna use some of that Max Factor skin tint I was showing you the other day. What's it called? Second Skin. Um, that tip that Caroline Barnes taught us about going a bit deeper in shade and using it all over as a bronzer. And I'm gonna use a really fluffy brush to do that. Okay, mascara is on. I've got a couple of little slips there. I'll go back in and sort those in a moment. What do I always say to you? Don't mess with it when it's wet because it'll smudge and that's what's happened. I really ought to listen to my own tutorials. Okay, gonna take a little pump of the Miracle Second Skin on the back of my hand with a nice fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna really gently, I'm not really using any pressure here, Donna. I'm barely touching the skin with that. You get a little bit more. And just really gently sweeping into those areas. So through that forehead, through the temples, through that hairline, I'm gonna go down my nose. Now, blush wise, if you can, I'd actually recommend using your fingers. Um, it does just as good a job as any. I'm gonna take a little bit of the glossier this is Cloud Paint in Dusk. I'm hoping I've got all of the grey from this palette off my hands, but I mean, we'll soon find out, won't we? No, having a little look, I think I can still see a little bit of redness in my complexion. So I might go back in in a moment. No, really gentle ring finger, just pressing that blush in with really soft little taps. So rather than rubbing it, I'm literally pressing that in bit by bit to just gently tap that into place. Gonna take that a little bit higher. One minute left, okay. Um, quickly throw a brow on. That'll be the making of me, I think. I'm gonna do a little bit of gloss. And then if I've got time, I will put a little bit of cream highlighter as well. So really gently throwing that on, brushing out any little mistakes. I think the highlighter might be a bit ambitious. So same technique again, you would just press that on really gently got 20 seconds to get some gloss on hopefully I will do it you know what I know that took ages but I'm really glad I picked that palette out again so there you have what turned out to be a bit more how to resurrect your smoky eyes and I will see you again soon